Hello and welcome to another quick training tutorial. In this training tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can manage your own paper deletion contract and how you can make sure that you can get the good faith estimate table included in your paper deletion contract. First, let me take you to the billing section. Just go to billing and then choose paper deletion. Alright, so once we're here on the paper deletion screen to show you what is the good faith estimate table that I'm talking about. So from here, we do have a good faith estimate that I did already from this client. Uh, let's save this one. So if you want to send a contract for this client, for example, all you have to do is to click on the send contract icon, which is located here. Once you do so, the contract preview will appear. And here is the paper deletion good faith estimate that would be included in the contract. Now, how do we make sure that this is included in the contract? So right here, this is where you select the paper deletion contract agreement. You can click onto the drop down menu to choose from the different contracts that you do have inside the software. So this one that I'm using right now is a default paper deletion contract agreement that we do have available in the software. You can always create your own contract or use this default and make changes. Now let's go to the digital signature screen. So from here, we just have to go to company and choose digital contracts. Now right here is where we can see the paper deletion agreement default contract. This is already ready for you to use and it's saved inside the software. But if you want to make some changes, all you have to do is click on the pencil icon under the action section. So once you click that, you can change the title or make changes on what's inside the contract itself. But you need to make sure that if you reach this section or this part right here, which has the placeholder for the good faith estimate, you have to make sure that you don't delete this part as this is where the good faith estimate would appear. But if you want to move it to a different section inside the contract, all you have to do is use the paper deletion placeholder, which can be found on the right side. This right here, paper deletion, and then choose the good faith estimate. And then you can just put it anywhere in the contract. Now, let me show you when adding a new contract. Just click on add new contract. We'll uh, go back and then click on add new contract. Then let's say we want to add a new paper deletion contract. Um, let's say for example, I'll put right here new PPD contract. Then use a paper deletion good faith estimate placeholder. Just click on that and choose the good faith estimate. Then let's say I've already drafted my own contract and place the placeholder and hit on save. So the new paper deletion contract would now appear on the custom section, which is here, custom. And you can always edit. As you can see, the new PPD contract is now showing up. So you can edit it, preview it, or delete it. So when we go back now to the billing, then go to paper deletion. Then if we choose this to, uh, to send a contract, you would have that custom contract already available right here because you use the placeholder for the good faith estimate. So that is how you can have a contract appearing into this deletion contracts. You have to make sure that you use the paper deletion placeholder. So that would complete our quick training tutorial on how you can customize add and use paper deletion agreement.